Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the home build. Today we're going to be talking about flooring. The flooring has been installed and we're going to talk about the, some of the processes through that. Some of the things that uh, as far as timing or what I wish would have happened and when and, and that sort of thing. So, so some of the things to consider when before you do your flooring and maybe also after the flooring. So let's go ahead and we'll jump in and take a look at what we got. So starting off, coming through the back door, we have linoleum. So vinyl, in other way, in other terms, vinyl's final. So in our, for our home build, we elected to do sheet vinyl. And frankly, looks great, feels great, nice and hard, it's a good product. Um, so underneath this product, they put down a vapor barrier, which is super important. And then as you probably saw from a different video is they had a particle board, which has got a smooth surface and it's stapled down. And those staples are about every four to six inch on center. So real close together, which is needed to help keep it from squeaking and, and that sort of thing. And then, then for, from there, this product is actually glued down. So it's kind of got that faux, uh, look of a uh, of, of boards uh, lapped together or joined together and a good installer like this you got sometimes you got a really hard uh, it's 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 not easy for one because this piece from here all the way to that end is one sheet and to try to find a joint to where one transition is to another if you do a great job you should be so if you're doing a good job those joints should be like right along where a seam of a board would be and I'll show you one if you can even pick it out but I had a tough time trying to pick it out one particular spot in the back is actually at the seam of or at the center of a door so great spot to hide those seams where a door shuts you can't see it and that sort of thing. But uh, trying to cut everything in and around is kind of another uh, craft in itself, trying to keep it from overcuts and all that sort of thing. So have a look at some other videos on that process. But this process is just to kind of more or less talk about the what what's here at the home build and uh, in some techniques, you know, but uh, I'll, um, oh, something to really think about is timing, okay? As far as like the baseboard, that sort of thing, um, applying this material before that just makes the whole install easier. If that was installed first, they would be more likely to stop it right at that base and then have to put another piece of trim over it. So I really like that where the jams all are so like here's a door jam door jam they actually have a flush cut saw where they cut off oh about an eighth of an inch to three sixteenths of an inch and those are one spots where they actually tuck it in underneath it and it might only just be a tiny bit under it but needless to say it's under it so all the other areas they held off on the base until that was done so all right, so as far as joints, the planks are all going this way. This is wider than what one full width of a roll is. So what they ended up doing is right in the center of this door, they where a, one of the planks um, joint is, is they put a seam right there. And you can't even tell that there's a seam there. And that seams actually get glued together also. Uh, and then I put this protection over it just because the amount of traffic walking on it I didn't want anything ruining the, the flooring. So something to really consider is this 
uh, building paper, that's what it's called, uh, covering up to protect it and that sort of thing. So uh, all the bathrooms got it, all in, in a sense, the wet areas. So bathrooms, laundry, kitchen, dining room, uh, and that sort of thing. Got this, the same product. I like symmetry. So we got one type of flooring throughout plus carpet. And if we were to do tile, I'd want one thing of tile. You know, I don't like a mix match, but that's just the, maybe to say the, the architect coming out in me in a sense, even though I'm not an architect and a carpenter, but those kind of details that that's what I prefer. So uh, the other thing, we didn't go fancy flooring and that sort of thing, which this it's easy enough to do later. Yes, it would be ripping up something brand new, but it's gonna be five years or more. I got lots of things to do before. So, but it looks great. Uh, it lasts, it's, it's durable, but not as durable as uh, a hardwood or a engineered wood, um, luxury vinyl tile, things like that. So you, if you drag certain sharp objects across, it can damage it. So you got to be careful of that. And more so if you go two layers. So if you have an old sheet vinyl and then a new vinyl over top of it, you can actually feel that it's kind of squishy because it's two layers. So more likely to get damaged in situations like this. One layer, more durable. All right. Now talking about carpet, we got pad underneath it. So we upgraded the pad just a little bit to give it a, a nice flex to it. Um, we had four options for our carpet. <laughs> so as far as that, our price range. So uh, we picked the best of, of our four and here we are. If we had more money, yeah, we would have definitely gone with a better carpet, but you can only do what you can do. But Still looks good. Uh, they just got this all, the pad all on in one day throughout the whole house, pad and carpet uh, and that sort of thing. So it looks really good. Um, it's, it's pretty dang firm as well. And so the base was installed uh, everywhere throughout the house before carpet. And you can just tuck in underneath the base. So. Could they have done the base after? Yes, um, but it's easier to install it before carpet and putty all the nail holes, paint it, all that sort of thing, uh, which down here on the first floor, uh, we didn't have time, we ran out of time. So what that's gonna mean is taping off the carpet and painting that, that base all throughout, but that'll be a process Second floor, we did get to it. We sprayed everything, worked great, uh, but not here. So um, I could elect to spray it, but I'd have to tape off the carpet and that sort of thing everywhere. So there'd be a lot of masking. So we'll see, that's gonna, that's gonna be to come. That's not gonna keep us from getting our final. So uh, that's the important thing right now for us. All right, so we got carpet going up the, the stairs. Looks great. You know, the sides, this treads actually stopped at the edges, so it's kind of got this soft spot on the ends. I'm not, not too keen on, so there's some quality there that I'm not too happy with. Uh, it would have been better if we had a skirt board. Um, but there is an option for it to, for me to install it later. Too many things almost to do later, but it, we do have the option. So this is a huge area for where uh, it's not enough for one roll of carpet to cover everything. So there's going to be seams. And take a look at some videos on, on how you join those seams together. More often than not, they're, they're joining them right at floor, at a, uh, where a door closes, okay? But good carpet installers, you won't be able to pick out where those seams were. So I'm happy with that. I'm not seeing any seams. 
So making sure you're double checking before your final, all that sort of thing of any defects, anything like that, that, that way they get repaired uh, beforehand. So I guess the next process is, uh, let's come into this room. So the next process is vacuum. <laughs> it leaves these little fur extra pieces all over. That is normal. Um, so it's just a matter of vacuuming it up. One last thing I did want to point out for transition between the carpet and the linoleum. This linoleum wraps around the ends of the board and is glued to the side of the, the board underneath. And then this carpet has a tack strip right here on this edge, tucking in, which I love it. I think it's great. It's a good kind of decorative. It's better, in my opinion, it looks nicer than a strip that covers both sides and nail down. So that if something did pull up for one reason or another, that would be some a cap that I transition strip that I could put on later. But uh, definitely want to leave this like this until then. So. That's it. So carpet throughout. Uh, I really enjoy wrestling with my kids. So it's easy on the knees for, for uh, wrestling and that sort of thing. We do like carpet. Uh, it's warm. It's not as cold feeling as hardwood floor and that sort of thing, especially in the bedrooms. Um, we might end up changing that later because uh, with carpet though, it collects that dirt, grime, that sort of thing. So be more diligent on oh, taking shoes off. So we'll see. But looks good. We're happy with it. Um, and that sort of thing. So that pretty much wraps up the, the carpet, the flooring, and that sort of thing. Uh, like I said, 2,700 square foot. One day carpet pad. It's pretty amazing. I'm not sure how many as far as a crew, whether it was two or three uh, people installing, but it's pretty neat that they can get all that done in just one day. So now it's time for more finishes. Uh, timing. I probably would have preferred not to have carpet installed before the outlets, the final for that, light fixtures. So as they're pulling all that stuff out and trimming that out, it's gonna produce, you know, just dirt and and certain flakes of drywall mud and that sort of thing plumbing that does need to be done or after the vinyl flooring but as far as the carpet for the mechanical final so there's going to be mechanical people coming in and putting in the vents and that sort of thing i would have rather it been after electrical and mechanical uh but like I said, the vinyl would definitely have to be in before the plumbers because they got to put their toilets on top of it. Other than that, that's kind of, you know, it's it's been good. It's starting to pick steam up, going faster and that sort of thing. At least it seems like it and that sort of thing. So. So finally I get to finish this video on the flooring. We had the uh, the builder change this stairs, how the carpet rolled up and down the stairs. So this is tucked in, looks so much better, up and around the nosing. Uh, we're so much happier with that than the way it was. Uh, thanks to the builder for checking with the contract of the carpet. Uh, this is what it called for in their contract, but uh, sometimes you just, if it doesn't look right, you need to think, hey, well, is it in their contract to do it a certain way? And evidently it was to do it this way. And they've been doing it that other way, that just sloped method. So with that sloped, just, uh, I don't even know what it, I guess it's called, but with it sloped, you're kind of constantly kicking this edge of the carpet and eventually it rips it and pulls it out here and loosens everything. So then it all 
after a while it gets wrinkly and loosened. So uh, this is a better method, right method, and it's according to their contract. So we're much happier now that that's been changed out. Uh, show you the second run. Oh my gosh, so much better. So, well, that's pretty much it for flooring. Hopefully uh, this is kind of how things are here. We're not doing anything too fancy. Uh, later on, I'll probably switch things out. Um, you know, tile, if I ever to do tile, I've done tile many times, it's just kind of cold. Uh, if I'm going to go to do tile, I'm, I'm going to do heated tile. So I've had that before. It's kind of a little more luxury. Uh, my, nice in the Northwest, things get cold. Um, I don't like my feet being cold, so that's what I would do. So we're going to stick within our budget. So uh, like always, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time on the home building.